You, uh, you don't travel with a basketball, do you? No. no. Uh, and the fact that anyone ever thought that I travel with a basketball is just like, bro. <laughs> like, right. I know I'm a basketball player, but no, I don't travel with a basketball everywhere I go. What's going on, GQ? Kyrie checking in here, and these are my essential things. I hope there's a sense of excitement for seeing my 10 essential things. None of it's extravagant, just uh, things that are a necessity to me. Well, the first item I, I can start with, I'll start with my notebook. Good old handy notebook. Uh, a lot of notes in here, a lot of ideas. And also, it's, it's, I use it as a journal, um, just to jot things down. This is like business slash personal, like business first. So if anyone ever gets this notebook, I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> One of my other essentials is my watch. I don't usually wear a lot. Usually I don't even wear my, my Cartier bracelets, but uh, I've just started wearing a timepiece. You know, this is a Rolex Sky Dweller. I had no idea in terms of, you know, what I was doing when I was just buying this. I would pay homage to my dad. He had a, a really nice, um, he had a really nice watch, but I actually lost it. I lost his watch. And then it had a really nice band on it. And it's just a classic band, a brown leather. And I thought it matched perfectly with uh, kind of my personality. It's just, it has, you can, it pops out a little bit, but also it's really subtle and um, classic. My right wrists are my Cartier bracelets. Um, like I said, I usually probably don't wear any, um, but GQ, you brought this out of me. This was actually, um, you know, a gift to me uh, from my dad, and uh, I had told him how much I loved Cartier bracelets, and he um, gifted it to me around Christmas time. It's subtle, just like my watch, but um, you know, just has a few, few nice shine, shiny diamonds in it. I thought that was pretty cool. My good old handy dandy Skull Candy headphones. This is probably my most <laughs> basic color that I have, but I usually carry around um, some skull candies that are just really distinct. This is kind of like my escape from kind of a lot what goes through throughout my busy day. I'm listening to a lot of music, um, you know, podcasts. My favorite is listening to Bruce Lee's daughter. It's called the Bruce Lee Podcast. I first fell in love with it when they were talking about transcendence. Uh, I've listened to a few podcasts, but that's one of my favorites. I didn't carry around a toiletry bag until about two years ago, three years ago, my sister, was adamant, like, Kyrie, you have to get a toiletry bag. I used to just carry around my essentials uh, just in my book bag, and then it would like ruin my book bag. What kind of bag is that? Uh, mm, I would, clearly, I'm not a material guy, so, uh, I don't know. My wallet. I have this. This was uh, given to me as a gift, made out of cork, and I thought it was pretty gnarly the way it was made. And it was a gift from a media member. He made it initially with a combination of my, uh, my logo and Kobe's logo because he was a really big fan of the collaboration that we did. And then I was like, man, can you make me one with just my logo on it as well? Don't like carrying a lot around with me in terms of my wallet, it's pretty simple. And, you know, also I have my daughter right there. Just as a reminder, you know, every single day, I mean, I love that logo, so. Guys with beards know how important it is to have a beard brush. This right here is being utilized a lot because my beard isn't as long as it, as it once was. I went through a phase where I wanted to look like a journeyman coming out of the forest. I didn't even realize how important this was, but a friend of mine, uh, she was taking off her makeup and she was using Oxpads and I was like, well, I mean, why are you using that exactly? And then I realized that, um, you know, it actually, it actually works for me. After a long day, or when I'm starting my day, um, kind of just cleaning my face before I start putting all that lotion on my face. Oxy pads, that's pretty simple. Like I said, my essential things aren't exciting, but they're essential for my life. This one right here is my cologne. I hope no one takes it and I don't smell you next to me. But no, it's actually a great cologne by Dior. I call it Salvage. But uh, it's kind of a great description of my personality. I am a savage. Okay, no, no, I'm joking. Two sprays on the hand, dab on the neck, two on the wrist. For a man with melanin in his skin, this cocoa butter is just essential for me. I like to carry it around with me, um, you know, kind of everywhere I go. Just make sure that my skin is moisturized. So cocoa butter is just, 
Hey, I need it. Icebreakers, you never know what you're eating or, you know, just throughout the day when you're gonna need it, a quick just you know, pop up a mint, you know, and just keep your day going. I feel like when I get into uh, certain conversations and you're chewing gum or you have to be on camera like I am now, just pop it in the mint and just kind of chewing it and then letting it dissolve rather than having gum and then I get on camera and then like I have to have this indecision like, do I swallow this gum? Or do I just, do I just spit it, like what, and, and I hate swallowing gum. I hope you guys enjoyed my session with GQ going over my essential things. Like I said, they're pretty simple, but they mean a, a great deal to me. I'm glad that I can share them with you all and uh, look forward to seeing you guys again.